Cultist? And I am the Gamer in Yellow. Yes, a special guest for the show, as Dr. Leviathan is away for this week. And we're here to discuss those internet stories, most creepy and most pasta. Tonight we've got Pokemon Lost Silver. So for those of you tuning in for the first time, creepy pasta are scary internet stories or creepy internet stories that have been copied and pasted across the internet uh, for the last couple of years. And they're... Uh, their name comes from the fact that they were copied and pasted and then it got turned to copy pasta. And then creepy ones are creepy pasta. So there you go. Um, like we said, uh, we have a special guest today, uh, Gamer in Yellow. Because yeah, Pokemon Lost Silver, it's a video game. It so, is, yes. And it's a creepy pasta <laughs> about that. So we, we've just read and listened to the, the pasta. So we're just going to do a rundown. Um, and if you would like to read the story yourself before getting into this, uh, you can check it out at creepypasta.wiki or go to Creepy McPasta on YouTube, and he has a fantastic, uh, well-set-up uh, reading of it. Yes. So go check it out. We'll wait. All right. Um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> yes. now, that you, now that you've been caught up, let's do the rundown. So it starts off with this college kid wanting to get of uh, the new Soul Silver Pokemon game, uh, but because he was, was busy with work, with school and poor at the time, he wasn't able to get it at launch. Uh, Worst thing ever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who, I mean, like we've both like been out at night in the middle, like in the middle of midnight launch. Night, yeah. yeah, midnight launch, sitting there or standing there in the lineup with a bunch of people just want to get our new game. I know, right? <laughs> Can't wait. Yeah, we are not poor or busy with school. <laughs> Well, speak to, speak for yourself, but yeah. <laughs> uh, he he does eventually order it on Amazon, uh, but it's it takes it's going to take about a week for him to get it. So he goes and uh, tries to uh, goes to try and play some older versions that he has, like the old games. But he finds out his parents have actually thrown those out. So he he goes over to the newest, nearest GameStop and purchases a copy of it, like a used copy, um, and it's. It's just the the original silver edition of the game, so he starts playing that, and it starts off normal, but then starts getting really weird. Like uh, the Game Freak logo um, starts up as normal, but then freezes. Pretty much the only thing that's normal is that is the first second you turn it on. Everything <laughs> after like... that is completely abnormal. Is the like it just it, it completely deviates away from the yeah. actual story. Uh, or from the actual gameplay, like it goes for so he starts like yeah it starts playing, logo comes on but then freezes and then cuts to or goes to black almost like it's an error or something. Um, I believe it turned then, it off, turned back on to see if it was, it was messing error. up or something. Yeah, yeah. and then uh, eventually the logo vanishes um, and there's a black screen and for about five seconds, suddenly it just it just shoots him straight into a already like a you like a continue game, um, yeah, and he finds out file. that his character. The character that's there is named dot 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 or ellipses. Mm -hmm. um, so he decides to go follow this character just to see how it how it goes. Um, checks the profile has nine 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 hours put into the game, which is ridiculous. <laughs> it's pretty much he capped out the counter <laughs> and it's counting past it. Yeah, um, and has all sixteen badges, uh, and he's got like. Nine 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 polka dollars and has all two hundred and fifty one Pokemon in his Pokedex. So the guy, he is the very this, best. He is the very best. <laughs> like no one ever was. Exactly. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> um, seeing as the uh, as he apparently had Mew and Celebi logged, also, um, the guy guesses that the, he used Game Genie or some kind of a hacking system. Hacks. Yeah. Major yeah. hacks. Um, so. Ghost calls up his Pokemon. He's got five unknowns and a six Pokemon that he uh, named Hurry. This is kind of weird. And then he checks his other Pokemon. The unknown, uh, the the unknowns actually spell out something. Uh, they're all level five, and they spell out leave, um, like leaving something. 
So, and I figured six, it was more like telling whoever the hell is reading oh, just to leave right now. Oh yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> or leave, and then hurry, and then the the, the six Pokemon was called hurry. So yeah, so leave, hurry, yeah. hurry, hurriedly leave right now. <laughs> do it, do it now, do it now, <laughs> leave. <laughs> anyway, um, and then it turns out the six Pokemon is actually a Cyndaquil. Um, so it's like, it's one of the starter types, mm -hmm. uh, but apparently it's like low HP. In fact, it's got like one, one HP, HP left yeah. and, uh, it's level five as well. It's level five as well. And all it knows is leer and flash. So he goes in, um, so he just, he, he starts playing and just a lot of, like, I'm not going to go into full detail just because like you need to read the story. Um, yeah. but it's just a lot of weird stuff starts happening to the character. And eventually like he goes to, uh, he goes to like places and they're not the same as in, they should be in the game. Over the course of the game, it's just stuff that you do. You know, like, um, considering the kid played all the previous games, everything he's seeing on the screen is not what it should be. Like he goes into some place and he's expecting something, and he's seeing something else that's completely backwards and creepy to what's supposed to be there. Yeah, um, never-ending hallways and. And like get out or turn turn back now, like like sim like just a sign that pops up and turn back now, and then it has it gives actually pops up a question like, "Are you boy or girl?" kind of thing. And it's like yes or no. Yeah. Um. But for the turn back now, um. And the guy says, "Yes." Yeah. And then climbs up the ladder and stuff, and I think hearing... it forced him to climb up the also, ladder, like it used an escape rope. Yeah. Kind of also, thing. very similar to uh, Ben Drowned uh, Creepy Pasta. Um. There is a creepy like the the songs are different in this. It's also uh, for the most part all the animal all the Pokemon in his roster when you click them they're supposed they're to just, growl but they're yes, all silent. They're all completely silent. Um, and the background music is uh, the, the unknown, creepy uh, unknown radio station radio thing. station theme. Yeah, just being constantly played and then or uh, silence. There's a lot of yeah, silence. or a lot of silence. Yeah, <laughs> good for atmosphere. Yeah, exactly. Uh, especially when you're just reading the story. Yeah, for sure. Um, there's a lot of detail in this story as well about like some of the battles and some of them are just really weird so eventually he does the yes or no he chooses yes climbs up um uh climbs up a ladder and it cuts a black screen and then the uh music changes from the unknown mu uh, music to the uh not so creepy polka flute radio music i think only once um, or twice it was non-creepy it was non-creepy yeah it was like it was in a safe <laughs> just to give him something. a little bit of a break yeah and then he goes back and uh or he's uh, he uses flash because he's in a dark room, um, and then suddenly it says Hurry has fainted. So his Cyndaquil fainted as soon as he used flash. And he's weirded out because it shouldn't. There's have, no reason that he yeah. Was there's no reason. Faint. Yeah, because there's no. He had no status. He's or not poisoned like or nothing. And he checks back into his uh, his party, and he's gone. And he's gone. Yeah. And there's a tenth. And he's gone. <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> and there's and now all his Pokemon, all six of them, are all level ten unknowns, and they all read. Um, he died. Like, no space or anything. Just, he died. Of course. Um, There's no space Pokemon. Exactly. That would be weird. Can you imagine, like, a, like a, it, it would just be, like, an, an upside down, or, like, a, a, a tilted over eye unknown. Yes. <laughs> um, be amazing. You never know these days. Yeah. They could do it. Yeah, they might do. They might start running <laughs> running out of ideas, like, oh, we need to come up with some things. Let's use phonetical symbols from English. <laughs> There's That'll a comma work. one. There's a period. <laughs> the period would just be. It the would just eye. be the eye. Just... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I, the comma, we... you just have a little tail. <laughs> we digress <laughs> a lot in this story. Yeah. At, at this point, he's just he's already concluded that it's clearly a hacked game that some sadistic person sold to GameStop. Um, but regardless, like... regardless of him clearly thinking that it's a hacked game, I'm sure you would be shitting your pants at this point, even though you realize that it's hacked. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I do that on a... Like, if something like if something comes up on a game that I buy and... It's not normal. It's not normal. Or, like, yeah, the game's, like, like acting funny. I'm not... Like, I mean, I'm a... Like, my logical side of my mind is going to is going to say, oh, it's a hacked game or some kind of weird... Somebody's playing a prank on whoever bought the... Who's ever going to buy this game next. The other part of my brain, which is more creative and more, you know, like, more demanding, is just, yes. like... Get the fuck away from that game! Run for your life. <laughs> Put crosses on it. Yeah, it's unholy. It's it's what happened. Actually, I've had that happen a couple of times. You have, yeah. I think you mentioned that a couple of times. Yeah. Um, and the viewer, whoever's listened to the Ben Drown knows the account I'm referring to. So, 
Back on topic. Yeah, back on topic. We, it, it's going to be one of those episodes, folks. Um, so they go. He got again. He goes through a couple of things. Like over goes into the overworld and finds a lot of weird stuff. Like his character is limbless, like has no arms, and then is like bleeding tears and is blank, like no color at all. Um, like one of the earlier games, uh, like in terms of like what it's supposed to look like, except for you know lack of limbs and yeah, he bleeding keeps eyes, losing limbs. Um, and apparently, at some point, he has like thirty-two badges, um, which is he's just served by the change of number seems to represent something important. Which yeah, uh, they never actually went into that. Yeah, I know they just like like they like, kept oh. mentioning that the Pokemon like kept leveling up or whatever, and the number of badges kept was changing, increasing. but it didn't really. I think amount to anything. We'll get we'll get into that like, as uh, at the end of this because I think I've, I know why it's doing that. Okay. Or why the significance of that. But anyways, so and and then uh, he it turns out yeah so yeah he um, he checks his Pokemon again after a while uh, of some weirdness and it contains five unknowns and a level one hundred Celebi without a nickname. Uh, the unknowns are this time at level fifteen, so it's they progressed again, and they're spelling they spell out dying. Um, and he checks Celebi's profile, and it's a shiny Celebi. Score! Amazing. <laughs> right? But he's only got, um, he's, mi- it, the, ha- the sprite is missing chunks of it, like it's got one arm, one leg, one, o- one eye, and it's, uh... He's seen only some ha- shit. Yeah, exactly. It's a battle-worn <laughs> Celebi. Yes, it's like, level 100, so. it's seen war. <laughs> yes. Um, and it's only got one attack. It's got Parish Song, um, which I wasn't really familiar with. I'm but, not either, honestly. But I guess it's like a final move or something. I assumed it wasn't even a real move. Maybe not. Um, Seems kind of OP. If somebody would like to comment saying, yes, it is actually, on the comments below, uh, wherever this is posted, feel free. Um, So he then fights, um, uh, he encounters somebody and fights him, but it's red from, oh, it's red from uh, the other games. Um, Yeah, from the classic games. Yeah, and he has a normal male Pikachu Except he looks normal. Super... <laughs> no, yeah, it says normal in the uh, in the story, but um... I disagree. <laughs> but apparently, the description of, uh, says otherwise, because uh, it's like, oh, it's a normal, it's a seemingly normal male po- Pikachu, except he is level two hundred and fifty five, and his sprite seems sad and has tears in his eyes. That's not a normal sprite. No, it's really not. Um, and then rather than than have the usual fight item. Pokemon run menu. Um, all he's given is just the attack, um, and since Celebi only has one, he chooses it. And then apparently, it, like the game just kind of takes over. Yeah, it just played like, by itself. Yeah, he just, and he had no option almost. to do anything else. Yeah, it's like almost like a like a scripted thing. Yeah. Um, and eventually, like they, it's like back and forth. It goes into detail. And if you're not if you're not a Pokemon fan, we apologize. If you have read this, if you do read the story, and you're just like, well, I don't get this. If you are a fan, you will get. Like the back and forth and stuff like that, because it is a turn-based fighting system. I'm sure most people understand. I would hope so. Um, and eventually, um, Pikachu is defeated with uh, the Parasong. Uh, the Parish uh, Soul. No, Celebi is defeated first. Yes, yeah, Celebi, yeah, Celebi goes uses down first. Parasong and dies, or like, he literally, like, literally dies. Yes, yeah, it, it literally. It doesn't say Celebi has fainted. It says Cel- Celebi has died. Um, on the screen, and it stays that, but he, his his sprite stays there, and then slowly just vanishes. Uh, but then Pikachu uses a, a, a move called Destiny Bond, and Pikachu has died with the fade out, with a slow fade out animation and a uh, and a slow background uh, back or uh, like battle or victory music comes on. So wait, did his move even do anything? It killed the him. Destiny it was, Bond. It, it's like so, I no, think, Paris song killed him. Parasong, no, Parasong killed Celebi. Destiny Bond killed, or was used in, and killed Pikachu. Like, they both, they both said... kamikaze themselves. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I thought it said that Parasong would kill both Pokemon after three turns. You might be right. It, yeah. I don't know. Either way. Yeah. Um, and so, it goes back to... Uh, uh, and then suddenly the red sprite, com- uh, the, re- the, ca- the sprite of red comes on, but it's like transparent... Um, and it's suddenly beheaded, leaving only a transparent body. Uh, and then the battle, the, uh, the battle then ends, um, and fades along with the music, which is just the slow, like victory music, mm-hmm. uh, or slow down. Uh, and then he's back in the, um, overworld and his character now is just as transparent as the sprite was for red. Uh, he checks his profile and this time 
all that remains is gold. Is he keeps referring to him, like the dot 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 character as gold because I guess that's the character's name in in Soul gold Silver, and Silver. Or in, in Silver and Gold. Yeah. yeah, that's why it was red in all the previous ones. And then, yeah. yeah, and yeah, it's all it is is his head with like bleeding and soulless black eyes, mm-hmm. or you know, just the sprite has black dots. No, that was before. At that point, the sprite was completely gone. Yeah. Because no. he was invisible. Yes. He was completely gone, right? That's actually the later. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, some weird stuff happens. Like, uh, so yeah, he sees that, and then um, he goes back into the overworld, and there's a lot of weird... Uh, some more weird stuff happens, as per normal. He checks his Pokemon, um, which, are, were all, which are now all level 25 unknowns again, um, as expected, and spells out the phrase... I'm dead. Um, and then he checks... He also checks his... Uh, like, he has zero... He, his character... Okay, sorry. Well, actually, actually, before that, uh, some weird stuff happens, and then suddenly he, like, sinks into the ground again, um, like he's done a couple of times in this in the game. And then he's... It's just a, a small room with graves all around it. And he can't... He ha- doesn't see his character at all, and he just he can't move or anything, but he can access his menu. And... He goes and checks his Pokemon. They're all they're uh, six unknown, and he says, "I am dead." He checks his um, badges. He has zero badges. There's no sprite of his character. Um, all the all the gym leaders, um, all their sprites are replaced by skulls. Yeah, and so um, then he goes back to the overworld, and he realizes that um, the thing, the big little structure in the center of the the, the screen, is actually a grave, and he. He's able to like read something on the grave, and it says R I P, dot dot dot. And then this is apparently when the character, ha- when the, the the narrator has a, re- a revelation, where he's been playing like I guess like the like the tragic life of this this young here of this young trainer who wanted to be of the ma- Gold's the, life of yeah. Gold's life, trying to be become the master, and he couldn't defeat death, so he ended up dying, and it's just this kind of sad ending of. Of like life and death, like it, it's literally like kind of. If you think about it, it does kind of like show this tra- uh, the the whole game from this point from the very beginning to this point now has been chronicling a tragic life journey, and now it's just death, and then he's dead. Yes. So, um, and then the guy starts saying, "It's like I used to think that only the first generation has had folkloric uh, creepy pastas and scary stories, but no." The other ones do now. The new ones have them just the same, but mm-hmm. because people will always keep writing them. <laughs> and um, God bless them. Yeah. <laughs> God bless us, everyone. <laughs> um, so yeah, and eventually he does get Soul Silver and enjoys the hell out of it. T- doesn't touch this game after the after what happened. Never again. But always at the back of his mind, always has the idea that like. Like, it's almost like a traumatic scar of after playing this game, like of thinking of the previous character and like the and, life that he had and, and how like it that. ended for him. Apparently, yeah. Because um, even if you are the very best, that cannot stop death from yeah. knocking at your door one day. Exactly. So that was a very that was our rundown. <laughs> yes. Um, as eh, we kind of mangled a bit. Um, Again, hopefully you read the story before you came, uh, decided to continue with the show. Um, we did give them that second we to them. pause. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they, they jump on can that. Pa- they can pause it and then... You know, yeah. yeah. Um, so, let's get, let's now go to our thoughts. Um, did you find it kind of a creepy story? Like, is it, a, is it actually a creepy story? I would consider it pretty creepy, but my main gripe with it is the fact that he kept kind of trying to push it out of the supernatural and just he kept oh, saying it where it has to be just some guy hacked this game he kept saying that over and over so it almost hey it, 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 denial it, isn't just a river in egypt i i guess but I never get to use that joke <laughs> <laughs> but yeah um it just kind of pulled you out a little bit but i still enjoyed it i still thought it was pretty creepy yeah it's not really a I, there wasn't really anything supernatural. It could have easily just been like a hack of a game, um, because it never actually, it never actually shows something supernatural at all, except for the weird. The game is just like fighting it, ghosts and becoming a ghost yourself yeah, no, and getting your head actually, cut off no, and nothing that's happening. That's all in game. Like it's all it's all talked about in game. 
It's never nothing ever actually happens to the narrator in the real world. No, except for that the set, game itself like is like, on it. Exactly. Well, it's the game contained itself, within the game book. Exactly. It's not. Yeah. It's not like Ben Drowned, where the demon thing pops out of the game after he starts playing yeah. it and like starts fucking with him in reality. Yeah. Which was a cool idea, but um, or better like, idea in my opinion. But yes. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been cool. Actually, yeah, that would that would have been a good idea if they if they had actually if they want. Now that's the thing. We don't know if the guy wanted it to be a supernatural thing or wanted it to be just a creepy story about a, a a weird experience. Like honestly, you could like this could be on any kind of game thread um, posted and just say like, yeah. "Hey, I found this really weird hacked game." And that is the one that. cool thing about it. It's the fact that it could happen because it's more it's more rooted in a realistic yeah persona. It's not just a. Like a, it's not a ghost story. It's it's no. literally just a weird game experience. Yeah, um, it's like Sonic EXE and all those other things, sort yeah. of like that, right? Which at some point we do need to, I need to cover because it's out there. That's but, pretty messed um, up too. Yeah, <laughs> but um, actually, you know, honestly, the Sonic games do have a creepy thing in them for anti piracy. <laughs> we'll get to that in, in that episode. <laughs> um, One topic at a time. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Um, now, here's the really cool thing about this game is that it is actually a workable ROM hack. It is. Um, in Septem- early September 2010, uh, according to the creepypasta.wiki, there is a complete working f- uh, fan game of Lost Silver, um, and it's fully executable in any ROM hack. So maybe one day we'll uh, do a Let's Play or something. We might have to. Um, yeah, so it's... Um, anything Anything that really bothered you about it? Well, the, like I said, the main thing was just how he kept kind of pulling out of it and saying how it's got to be hacked it's got to be a hack maybe but maybe it's yeah maybe it is just like him to not like there's no way that there's nothing supernatural about this like like that's like his like thought process like, he's like just con- constantly trying to re- uh, rationalize yeah i know playing. but personally i think it'd be it'd be kind of better if you didn't mention that because it, then it's up to the viewer to make their own assumptions whether or not it's supernatural or if it's just a hack you hear that folks we have a host here that, d- that actually likes assumptions <laughs> 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 Leviathan, Leviathan not so much on Leviathan's that. phrase on it is that it's um, assumptions are the root of all fuck ups. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, he takes stories very seriously or very critically. Yes, so. but um, moving on. Yeah, no, I like I I like to th- if they did remove that, that would definitely help the story a little bit. Yeah. Um, not that it ruined the story; it just kind of changed it a bit, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Like we mentioned earlier in the in the rundown, um, you were saying it was kind of weird that the number the na- the um, the leveling, the up, leveling up and the numbering and some of that. It didn't I really amount to anything, personally. It, I don't think. It did subtly. Um, it was essentially letting you know that the pro, the, the progression of time was happening. Oh, the age? He was aging throughout the entire, uh, like, in, like, speed, like, super speed in this game. So, like, that's why he had, like, so many badges, because he'd gone to uh, Johto, he'd gone to Hoenn, he'd gone to all the different yeah. regions, um, somehow. Um, and he had all the Pokemon, he had all 251 Pokemon, he had, his Pokemon were leveling up. Because he was, yeah, going. He was going across the world. Um, so pretty much, the game is a montage. It, it's gotta oh my be God. a montage. It really kind of, yeah, I guess it is montage. kind of a montage. Just a montage of um, Gold's death, of Gold's, well, Gold's <laughs> life and death in a tragic, well, horrible way. Death, yes. Yeah. Um. All right. So you are a brand new host and a brand new. Um, purveyor of creepypasta because this is the, the i think this is probably the first pasta you've been introduced to well no i've i know a bit about some other ones but this is the first one that i've actually um like given my opinion on and yeah like went completely through and thought about it but yeah okay um well th- with that in mind um would you recommend this as a creepypasta for somebody to read if or you're into would, pokemon yeah, yeah okay yeah, it has to, it's one of those conditional ones right where i think have to so be, yeah yeah, because it's like Ben Drown, like because Ben Drown, like the first half of that that story, is essentially fanfare. Like the character going, like the guy describes in very good detail the journey through Majora's Mask, a, yeah. a, a screwed up Majora's Mask. Um, but if you don't know the game, you're not going to be that interested. Yeah, or you need the video game um, because t- the the video game uh, sc- like clips that they put, have on that. Yeah, to but get even it. even so. You don't see the creepiness of it if you don't see what it's supposed to normally be like. Yeah, like if you're not a, if you're not a fan of if you haven't played the games. Yeah. Even if you haven't even played a Pokemon game, 
you yeah. know that there's something wrong with this game if if you ha- if you have played it. Yeah, as long as you've played like even just the first game. Yeah, you understand how everything works. You know who Red is. You know who Red is. Who's a character in the in this creepy pasta? Yeah, and yeah, as so, long as you understand how it normally goes, then you see why it's so creepy. It's not just some random creepy video game that some guy put together. Yeah, and that it's it's it it does fall under a lot of um, creepy pasta. Uh, you like a lot of well used um, tricks or uh, tropes, mm-hmm. like um, like I said, uh, like the earlier in the in the uh, the story, um, he gets a creepy he gets a he gets the game used at a game store, yes, or of uh, or from he gets a used game and it turns out that something's been wrong with it or it's been tampered or it's been corrupted with something. Yeah. Um, and again, even the, like it's just there's a there's there's a few common tropes that you see in. In creepy pastas, especially when it deals with video game stuff, um, and yeah, so you would recommend it for um, if you for are Pokemon fa- fans. for Pokemon fans who also like to l- read little creepy stories about those games. You would recommend it. I would, yes. I th- I think it's pretty enjoyable. Yeah, I I gotta say I probably would as well. Um, reading it, it what I mean it, again, it wasn't too creepy, but it because there was nothing like. The character, the I didn't, I didn't feel like the player was ever actually um, in control of anything. No, well, he wasn't in control, but I, I didn't feel he was ever in danger. I felt like this was like as and it is like, what yeah. was happening on the screen was 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 disturbing or or unnerving in certain. He was just spots. in a surreal situation all the time. It was nothing yeah. ever life threatening. So it's I wouldn't consider this a good creepy pasta, like a good like a creepy pasta, but it would be a good like just you don't consider it creepy. A, uh, kind of creepy, not 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 like full creepy. Like again, there are other there are ones out there that we might cover where like the 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 threat in the game is actually starting to affect the player. Yeah, the player was really there for the ride and losing sand rolls. <laughs> yes, he was. He was. He was. So was, it was affecting the player. It just on a mental level, on not a mental on a physical level, level. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I would recommend it for people who are fans of Pokemon, but I wouldn't recommend it for anybody like in general. Yeah, it's it's an interesting idea um, uh, of a depressing uh, of a t- depressing twist on a game that already exists. I can understand why people would like uh, why there's such a huge fan base for it because much like Hero Brian or Ben Drowned, there is a massive fan base for the game that was spawned from it. Yeah, so of course people are going to flock to a a, ver- uh, a take on it or like of a course. version of it. Because there's like so many people that love Pokemon. Yeah. So out of all those people, there's a lot of people who enjoy also like creepy pastas and horror stories and stuff like that, and they would enjoy this. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So yeah, then it's a generally positive review this this week. I'd say so. Okay. Of course, if you if you disagree with us or if you agree with us or if you want to leave us a message, um, you can leave it on the comments section where uh, below wherever this gets posted, either if it's on Kiwi Six, um, on uh, YouTube. Because we are on YouTube now and we are on iTunes, so leave us a comment uh, in the comment section below, um, or even on iTunes, send us a review. Let us know how you think. Let us know if Gamer in Yellow is um, is another good guest host. And of course, you can also reach us uh, on our email, which is al dente rigamortis at gmail dot com. That's a l d e n t e r i g a m o r t i s at gmail dot com. Where you can also leave us suggestions for other creepypastas. We have a small list of, of suggested ones um, going, and we will get through all of them, I'm sure. Oh, and you can also uh, check a, uh, check us out on Twitter, um, at the at Review Cultist on Twitter. Yeah, send me a message and uh, let us know what you think about the show. So, until next time, I have been your host, Review Cultist. And I am the Gamer in Yellow. And this has been El Dente Rigamortis. Sleep well.